What's going on everyone? This is Dustin Stelzer with another episode of Electrician U and today we're going to talk about how three-way and four-way switches work. This episode is actually schematic, so I'm going to actually draw out the circuitry and how the current actually flows through to the devices. If you're interested in seeing the actual like wiring and how to wire for a three-way or four-way, um, click on some of these cards and they'll show you. Uh, I can't do that. Um, if you're interested in checking out how to wire a three-way or a four-way, um, I've got videos for that. Just go through uh, the, the video section. And if you're interested in like me taking them apart and showing what's inside of them, I've got videos for that too. So this is just schematics um, of how three-way switches and four-way switches work. All right, so if you remember from a prior video, um, how a three-way system works is that you've got two three-way switches that are on opposite sides of, uh, of a room. You'll have you know one doorway that comes in and uh, say you're coming from the garage and you need to turn on some cans so that you can get into your house. But on the other side is your kitchen and you don't want the lights on anymore so you want to be able to walk to that side and flip the light switch off. Or you're coming, you know, same thing. That room's dark and you're in the kitchen and you want to be able to turn the light switch on and you're going out to the garage and you want to be able to shut them off. You just want, there's two locations that you want to be able to switch these lights from. So. What I've drawn is two three-way switches. I'm gonna write a C under this because in a three-way switch, as you've seen in some of the other videos, has a common screw, it's a black screw. The other two screws are gold screws and those are for your travelers only. So how a three-way works is we've got a hot side and we got a leg side. The leg side is where you're going to have your switch leg, which is a wire that goes from the device up to the actual light itself. Um, then the hot side is where your incoming hot is going to be from a panel or, um, you know, from another plug or whatever. That's where you're bringing the power into. So we've got, so we've got one traveler that you would run from this device to this device, and we'll call this your black. I realize it's not black, it's green, but in a 12.3 and travelers that you're gonna run, you're gonna run one black conductor, and you're gonna run one red conductor. So the inside of a three-way switch is going to either connect this common terminal to this terminal, or it's going to connect to this terminal. So if you push the switch in one position, it connects these two. If you push the switch in another uh, position, it connects these two. But with a three-way switch, there is no on or off. There is no like connected and not connected like there would be in a single pole switch. Three-way switch just gives you two different paths that current can take. So you're either going to be taking a straight path this way to get to the light or if you change the position of the switch and you switch it in one position it's going to take current through and go this way and oh nothing's connected so the light shuts off that's how you get the light to shut off but if you want to switch the if you walked over to this side of the room and and the light is off then all you would do is change the position of this switch and then it connects this side to this side so power still keeps feeding through and if you're back on this side for some reason and you wanted to change the switch so that the light goes off, you just change this one and it connects the common to this traveler. So you have power that goes through and stops. It has no way of getting over to the light. That's pretty much it. That's the simple, uh, the simplest explanation I have for how a three-way switch works. All right, so next is going to be our four-way. This is three-way. This is gonna be four-way. So uh, just like we're gonna have on a three-way setup, you're gonna have your two outside switches that are three-way switches. 
So you still have a common terminal, gold, gold. Over here, you've got gold, gold, common. So this is a three-way. This is a three-way. And in the middle, you're going to have a four-way. Now, in every four-way, you have four terminals. You've got two black or common terminals, and you've got two gold or traveler terminals. So the only difference in a four-way switch is that you always have a path between two terminals. So current is these two are always touching, and these two are always touching. But when you change the position of the switch, it changes which path you're being allowed to take. They don't come disconnected from the terminals. Like this terminal never disconnects from this. They're always constantly touching. It's just that the switch allows you to take this path or to take this path. So let's break it down a little bit more into the actual functionality. So again, we're gonna have our hot side. That's where current comes into the circuit. And then out here, you're still gonna have your switch leg that goes up to your light. So, um, oh, and we should probably also draw the travelers. From your hot side, you're gonna bring two travelers to the incoming screws, uh, the incoming side of your four-way. Then from the outgoing side of your four-way, you're gonna have two more travelers that go to the next three-way. So let's just say we've got our red that comes over here. We're gonna have our green that comes over here. So both travelers come to the incoming side. This is in, this is out. Now from our outgoing side, we're gonna have one traveler and we're gonna have another traveler. Um, and when you're drawing schematics, if you ever have to hop over a wire, that's how you do it. That's how an electrician's gonna look at it and be like, oh, that's not connected. Anytime you have a wire that like crosses each other, people assume that that's a joint and you're supposed to connect those. So that's why you always do that little thing. Anyways, off topic. Now, uh, remember from this three-way that you're choosing two different paths to take. So from your common screw, say you're on one, one end of the hallway and we've got this, this switch switched in the down position. So it's sending a hot all the way through it. It's going through here, going to this traveler, and I didn't draw a flapper yet. Well, we'll just say that these two are connected. So now we have a constant path all the way through the three-way, all the way through the four-way, and out through this three-way. So the light turns on. So what happens if you're at this end of the hallway and you turn the light, the, the switch in a different position, well, it connects from here to here. Current's gonna go all the way through, all the way through here, and it's gonna stop because it has no way to get over to that common terminal without you changing the position of it. Once you change the position of it, you know, you, it allows you to, to uh, go the entire way through the circuit again. So now that we've switched that, hot comes in, goes through this terminal, goes all the way through here, comes out, and the light turns on. The same thing goes for the four-way in the middle. So right now, you know, we've got our current that's coming through, taking this path and following the green wire. If you were to switch this in a different position, um, the current would no longer take this path. It would stop right here. So you have to change the switch into a position that allows it to send current through. So that's the, the reason why uh, that you're able to, with three different places, uh, turn power on, turn power off. You're really not turning it on and turning it off. You're just sending it down a path that connects through all of the switches to the light, or you're sending it down a path that's interrupted and it's, it's not touching the right terminals, so it's not allowing power to go all the way through the circuit. But that's pretty much it. Uh, if you look inside of an Uglies manual, Uglies is like this little book that you can get from Home Depot. It's like a really super condensed version of the NEC, and they update it every three years when the NEC uh, comes out the new issues of it come out. Anyways, they have this diagram that looks like this inside of that Uglies manual. And what that is, is this is a three-way switch. This is just a schematic view, so it doesn't have any like device looking drawings or lines around it. it just has these dots. Now, in the Uglies manual, what they do is they show a solid path and a dotted line. They show a solid path and a dotted line. 
and they show a solid path and a dotted line. <coughs> so it's the same thing they're showing on a three-way switch. You can either be in this position or in that position. In this switch, it shows you can either be in this position or in that position. And in this switch, same thing, that position or that position. So this is going to be your common. This is going to be your common because it, both of these terminals have that one screw in common. And uh, you're going to have one path that goes over here to the incoming, another path. That, then from here, you're going to have one path that goes here and one path that goes here. It's the exact same thing, but it's just a little cleaner representation of showing you know all the different possibilities of paths. So uh, a three-way, a four-way switch works just like a three-way switch, one position or the other. It's just that it uh, has four terminals that connect it rather than having three terminals connected. But it's still just one position or the other position. So keep that in mind. Maybe that'll clarify a little bit how this stuff works. Uh, that's it, guys. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, you can go to electricianu.com. That's where I'm going to start building up a lot more of this content. Um, you can leave comments there. You can get a hold of me, contact me. Um, you can also go to Facebook at The Electrician U. Um, I'm on Twitter, the electrician, it's uh, electrician underscore U. I'm kind of all over the place. I'm trying to be all over the place. I'm on LinkedIn. Um, so if you like to consume this content in different places, like you don't use Twitter, but you do use Facebook, or you hate going on YouTube, but you do want to go to a website and watch a video, like you can do all of that. So, so let me know what you guys think. I got lots more of these videos coming. Um, Rick and Morty are going to be with me all day today, so you're probably going to see like four or five episodes with me wearing my Rick and Morty shirt. Uh, getting down to the science. So I love you guys. I appreciate you watching so much. Thanks for the engagement and the, the constant support. Um, you guys rock. So I will see you in the next episode.